Welcome to Pop Turnative, where we dive into topical discussions from the worlds of pop culture, social media, and sports. Here is your host, Peter Romoliotis, aka PD Beats. Pity Beats here from Pop Turnit is speaking to Michaela Brasser about Shorzy, which is going to be premiering on Hulu May 27th. Welcome to the show. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for having me. I'm so excited. I mean, it's pretty crazy. I mean, the show kind of drops on Crave in Canada on the 13th. And now two weeks later, it's coming out. Like it's come, it's going to be available in the States. Like, How crazy is that? I'm, I'm actually overwhelmed. You know, I was looking at some comments on just on like, everyone's been loving the show so far in Canada. So yep. I'm just really excited to see um, how the States takes it. It's very, the show's very Canadian. Yes, um, it is. <laughs> but I, which I love, like, I love that people will see that side of Canada. Um, I mean, I grew up in Saskatchewan, so it was, it's very much my culture of how I grew up. Yeah. Um, and hockey's universal. No, absolutely. It, it, yeah. it, it does. So this is a question I really want to ask you then. So mm-hmm. when you were told about Shorzy, how much did you know in terms of it being like a Letter Kenny spinoff versus it being like a hockey show? Because I feel like there's two things that play with this show, right? Like, totally. <laughs> totally. I mean, when I got the audition, it just, I knew, I saw from the breakdown that it was the Letter Kitty creators. Okay. Um, and I was a fan of, of the show Letter Kitty before. So no. I, I knew Jared, I knew kind of everybody a little bit. Um, so I, in the breakdown, it just said it's a hockey show. Um, <laughs> and I did my own research and I was like, oh wait, I kind of just put the puzzle pieces together. And then I just went on the YouTube, like just to refresh my memory. Um, cause Letter Kenny has had so many seasons, which is amazing, mm-hmm. um, of like the best clips of Shorzy. And it's just like, he blew up, like the character just blew up. Everyone loved this character. Um, so yeah, I think I just, I, I kind of put the pieces together that it was, but during the breakdown, it just said it was a hockey show. To be honest with you, for me, it was like the opposite because I know a lot of the people on Letterkenny as well. And I knew that there was kind of a Shorzy spinoff. So just first thing that kind of comes to mind is just, yeah, Shorzy's left Letterkenny and doing his old thing. But like, I, I didn't like, you watch it and it's like, it's a hockey show. Like it, Letterkenny has hockey in it, right? Riley yes. and Josie. But like, this is a hockey show. <laughs> yes. Which honestly, I think, we're kind of missing a hockey show. Like a Wait, there's, really, not much, there's not much. Yeah. <laughs> there aren't any hockey shows. Like I know I have um, three brothers who play hockey. My fourth brother doesn't, but they were so excited to have an actual hockey show. Yep. Like everyone from my hometown is going crazy for the show because mm-hmm. there's not anything like it. I know <laughs> it is. It's so, so crazy. Now mm-hmm. your character. Yes. Works at a bar. Yes. That the, the players go to get food and drinks yeah. either before or after games. Sometimes we're not sure. Like, where they are. I'm, I'm, you know, that hasn't been established. I'm guessing it's actually a little bit of both. It's true. It has not been established at it's all. A of, it's a bit of both. Yeah. Um, I mean, the meeting with Shorzy and, and Siguinet, I think that was before. And then after, I think, with all the guys the together. The panini, the, the, pin, the, the panini chatter. I think yeah. it was probably after a game. I think it was like, and you know what's so funny? Um, even where I'm from, uh, my, my mom used to serve and all of the boys used to come in. So I kind of drew a little bit from her. Oh, wow. And yeah. She, would, she knew all these boys because of my brothers. So <laughs> we kind of like sassed them back in a way. Like they had that like fun, playful banter. Obviously not as aggressive as Pam, <laughs> but a little bit more polite than Pam. Um, but I really kind of like wanted to play with that side of how I grew up with with my mom and like that dynamic that she had created when she was serving. Yeah, no, a hundred. That's so interesting. See, this is why I started the show because I kind of wanted to have conversations and get that kind of behind the scenes stuff that like, little yeah, that's what, yeah. <laughs> that's literally what I wanted. So that's so great. Um, I would say there's like three characters in the show that have like official like beef with Shorzy. 
yeah. with, you know, I feel like your character is one of those three characters. I feel like I'm Ryan's sure. character, Blair's character, and your character have I'm this, sure. like, yeah. rivalry. So he chirps and kind of goes at it with a lot of, like, um, a lot of the hockey players, a lot of the characters. But what's it like being, like, one of three characters that actually has kind of, like, a rivalry with the main character, Shorzy? <laughs> You know what? I, I love it. I was so, ex just to get on set, I was just so excited to even do a little bit of improv uh, which they kept on the improv, which was really cool. Um, just to like go at it and just, I mean, I grew up around the culture of like hockey. Uh, we call it chirping. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like hockey chirps. You know, my brothers actually talk that way. <laughs> you know what I mean? So like the banter, I'm like, I'm ready for this. Like, just throw me in there and like, let's go. <laughs> <You know? laughs> like, so the Panini scene that people are going to see, I mean, that's like amazing scene. And um, was that like a lot of improv? Was there script? Like, like, what can you tell us about like that scene specifically? And that scene specifically, um, I think there was just, you know, it was mostly me and Jared kind of going on. <laughs> one another so it was just honestly it was so much fun the set was so much fun I could not stop laughing like at one like everyone was breaking like it was just it was so hard because oh little Jared's so good at playing Shorzy and just hits everything mm -hmm. and like even all the guys together was just like you you just couldn't not break. So when he like interrupts, like when he asks a question and then he goes like, huh? Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Is he doing that? Like, so all your reactions, when you then do your line again, you don't know he's doing that. Right. No idea. Okay. It's like, it's just, it's okay. That's what I hope. Cause there are some that are real. There's some like Kehlani too, like yeah. and Blair. There are some of those moments where they really like seem caught off guard that like you did it. So they're like, huh. and then they say their yeah. line again. Like it looks yeah. natural. <laughs> and it actually like makes, it's actually like infuriating. Like yeah. after a while you're like, but like, <laughs> you can, oh, it's so much fun. I love it. It's so great. I feel like it's a really cool, unique situation for the cast of Shorzy Michaela because, you know, Letter Kenny, you know, when it first comes out, comes out on Crave, a Canadian show, has some seasons. Then the big announcement comes that, you know, it's going to be picked up by Hulu. So new seasons yeah. moving forward. This is like the first season of Shorzy is going to be available right away in the States, which yeah. is crazy. So it's a different kind of mindset a little bit, I feel yeah. like. Yeah. I'm feeling, yeah, it's, I mean, it's so interesting. Like the fact my, my best friend lives in LA and yeah the fact that she can watch it. Cause there's so many times we say to each other, like, she's like, oh, watch this show. And I'm like, oh, I don't have, like, oh, I don't have Hulu or like vice versa. Like, so it's, I'm just really excited that I can share it with my, with my US friends. Like yep. they can actually see some amazing Canadian content that's coming out and like Canadian, everybody's Canadian talent. So it's just like, and there's so many references to Canadian culture too, that I just love. Like, and I feel like, <laughs> It's, I just, I'm really excited for everybody to see it. Yeah, no, it's going to be great. Is there kind of, um, has there been, like, what has overall been, though, with it being in Canada, like the, the, like the reception from your family and friends so far with it being out now? Because your episodes, episodes three and four kind of came out, and that's where we meet your character. So, like, yeah. what's that reception been like? Because you have to wait a little longer, right? Because the first two show yeah. up. <laughs> Yeah, but it was kind of cool. I mean, seeing the first two episodes, it was just, I mean, because I just got my, my, um, my episode scripts. Yeah. So I, seeing just kind of the, the vibe of the show, the first I got really, really excited. And then when my stuff kind of came out, I was nervous, but I was, I mean, I was really happy with everything. And everybody has been so kind. And my phone's been blowing up with so many positive, loving feedback um my mom is telling every single person she knows I'm pretty sure <laughs> my brothers have all watched it and love it and um I've just even I was with some friends yesterday um celebrating a birthday and everyone just had rave reviews of the show so far and just actually a lot of people are loving my character which I'm really excited about I know it's well I Jesse Camacho who connected yeah. us yeah. um he, I told him, I'm like, because he, he mentioned that he's like, I had a friend that's on the show. Yeah. And then I saw the episodes and I was like, oh man, like 
he's got to connect me because like, I have so many questions about the panini scene. <laughs> Oh my gosh, it's so much fun. And it can only, one thing I love about it is that, and even I was talking to Jared, even after like on my last day of, of there's just, there's so much room for growth yeah. for every character. Yeah. Like they've set such a great foundation for everybody that there's so much room to grow. And now all I want to do is like get another, like just get more play time, like yeah. more time to like grow her and like really like deepen the character. Because technically, I guess this is, I mean, this is the first season. This is the first pass. Like, we'll get another pass at this. I mean, not going to work. Well, <laughs> it's, so, because you worked on some feature films in the past as well. Does the mindset when you rap change, like, depending on the project? Like, depending on what it is, like, because I feel like, you know, you, you probably rap this show. You're like, let's go. Let's do some more scenes and everything. But sometimes maybe that's not the case, right? Maybe it was, like, a long shoot. And it's just, like, I need a break. Like, what's that like for you? I mean, Compared to features, I mean, features, it's so, you, that's like a whole other, um, it really is so different. First yeah. off, the show, I was on the first, like, first day, I couldn't believe how, like, the speed they have yep. is incredible. Yep. Um, I mean, it's all the Letter Kitty crew and director, it's the same, you know, they've been working together for so many years. They have this banter, they have this way of working. So when I came in, it was like, boom, 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 boom. And I was like, okay, we got to pick up the pace. Okay. Yeah. And now coming from mostly, I've done a lot of, I've done a lot of features, uh, feature films, um, and not that much Canadian, um, or not Canadian, comedy TV. Comedy TV, yeah, absolutely. So I was... I was kind of uh, taken off guard a little bit by the pace, but then I, I, I mean, I came very fast, but it, it was just an adjustment of being like, oh, we're moving fast. Okay, great. Perfect. Let's do this. I know. A film where it's like, you can kind of sit in it more and like really take your time. They want you to take your time. They want you to really breathe it through. Um, and even like the process too of, like, it's amazing that I'll get to see everybody again, where the film, when I wrap the film, like there's some films you become so close as a family. And then when you wrap it, it's like, sometimes you never see those people. That's some so people true. Live in, like the UK, um, I've heard people from the States before and I haven't seen them in, in years, you know, like that's crazy. We still keep in touch through, I mean, social media is amazing that way, but. Yeah, no, that's yeah. so true. I didn't think about that. Yeah. And then there's like that. Yeah, no, I. You, like when the TV show, absolutely. I did not think about that. Or, like, I feel like a lot of people though, um, have told me like they've done a lot of movies, like where it feels almost like summer camp sometimes. Like they're just doing it. <laughs> like, I just feel like they, they tell me that, that that's what it feels like. And then it's like, Oh, last day of summer. So then yeah. they rap and it's over. <laughs> yeah. Honestly. Well, I did, um, my last comedy that I did, um, was actually the, the casting directors who cast me for shorts. He cast me for this, comedy um feature and it actually was based in a summer camp well why so I, yes were, i know that's why yeah. i brought that up I, I, for, <laughs> yeah, girl, Jesse, that's where like we met jesse i met you know a lot of people in my life who are like now my closest they're my family and ironically that was almost that was like a summer camp <laughs> that, it, was, it was so much fun it was so much fun i was so sad when it ended like i was devastated because i it was just I never went to summer camp. So it, yeah. I actually like got that experience for the first time as an adult. Like it was so much fun. It was, it was so fun. crazy. I feel like, yeah, no, it was so crazy. And I feel also like the, I mean, I've talked to Jesse about this. And I'm sure you agree. The hard part and like the work is like getting the job, right? Like auditioning, doing the yeah. self tapes. When you get there, yeah, you're working, but that's like, when it doesn't feel like it's work at times, right? It's, I mean, especially when you're, when you're working a comedy, like yeah. there's, it's just, I mean, thinking about that film with Jesse, like me and Jesse, all of our stuff we did was improv. Cause we were such, we became such good friends that we just knew how to make each other laugh. Amazing. You know what I mean? So, That's so was, great. You just kind of find that flow with each other, which is, which is really kind of unique and cool. And you can kind of just bounce off. And I feel like everybody at the in Shorzy has that as well. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like we all trust each other where we can just make, even there was some improv I did that fell flat and my jokes fell flat. Okay, great. We move on and we just keep trying another joke until we hit it. You know, like it's, 
It's so great. And I can't wait for people to see it on the 27th on Hulu. <laughs> Michaela, thank you so much for coming on Pop Turtle. It was so great chatting with you. So much for having me. It was a pleasure. Yeah. So yeah, May 27th, going to be dropping on Hulu. And where can people um, follow you on social media to keep updated with everything? Instagram? Instagram's probably the main one. Um, yeah, just at Michaela Brosser. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. Well, this has been Pop Turn at youtube.com slash pop turn for previous episodes. Till next time, it's Michaela Brosser. You're going to be catching in Shorzy, premiering on Hulu May 27th, and PD Beats signing off. Thank you for tuning in to Pop Turnative. Make sure to check out our past episodes of Pop Turnative on YouTube. Be sure to like Pop Turnative on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. This has been an Autograph Communications production.